And welcome everyone to RedRaiders.com. I'm Zach Long and you're on the AJ Media Post Game Show. And for the first time in a few weeks, we get to discuss a win. The Red Raiders take out Kansas 34-21 here at Jones AT&T Stadium. A fantastic running attack today. DeAndre Washington, 164 yards on the ground. The Tech defense, they played well also. Two turnovers forced. They shut Kansas down late in the game, and the Red Raiders were able to put the Jayhawks away. Justin Stockton with a big touchdown run in the second half, and the Red Raiders earned their first Big 12 win of the year. Texas Tech defense doing damage early, stopping Kansas, giving the ball back to the offense, and the Red Raiders will capitalize. Davis Webb leads the drive, and he's going to find Reginald Davis on the touchdown pass. Texas Tech takes an early 10-0 lead. Red Raider running game doing damage as well. DeAndre Washington, brilliant day on a football field. 164 yards rushing. That'll set up Davis Webb on his second touchdown pass. This time to the senior, Bradley Marquez. 17-0 Texas Tech. Trouble, though, here for the Red Raiders. Davis Webb pass intercepted by Kansas as Ben Heaney returned deep inside Red Raider territory. Jayhawks cut it to 17-7 on a touchdown pass from Michael Cummings to Justin McKay. Red Raider defense has an answer, though. Michael Cummings fumbles a snap, doesn't see the safety help. Pass will be intercepted by J.J. Gaines. Big stop for the Red Raiders. Then the freshman from Argyle, Texas, in Sadler, makes his presence known. A catch deep inside Jayhawk territory, and he is not done. Davis Webb going to load up right here on the fade route from the slot position. Finds Sadler for his first career touchdown, 27-14 Red Raiders. Jayhawks not done, though. Michael Cummings loads up, goes down the field, finds Nigel King inside the five-yard line. They would capitalize a short time later. Cummings keeps it for the touchdown, 27-21 Tech. Red Raiders with a chance to close this one out, and they do it. Justin Stockton, 21 yards to the house, 34-21, Red Raiders. Red Raider defense would then shut the door. KU trouble on the exchange, fumbled, recovered by Texas Tech's Brandon Jackson. The Red Raiders will win this one, getting their first Big 12 win, 34-21. <laughs> So the Red Raiders improved to three and four on the season. Some of the highlights throughout the day that we already haven't talked about, 22 yards and penalties. Talk about one hell of an improvement in that category. Really wasn't a factor today as the Red Raiders overcame some of the simple stuff and put away the Jayhawks in Sadler. The freshman receiver from Argyle, Texas, a huge day. Some big receptions over the middle and scored his first career touchdown as a Red Raider. Up next for Texas Tech, the TCU Horn Frogs in Fort Worth. TCU drills Oklahoma State today. A big time game for Texas Tech if they want to get their season back on track in a big way. That will be a step as well after this win over the Jayhawks. If they can beat TCU, they'll see former Tech assistant Sonny Cumbie, who is revamping that Horn Frogged offense. And both times Tech and TCU have met, been great Big 12 football games. Hopefully, we'll see the same thing next week in Fort Worth. For now, though, a lot more coverage of Texas Tech's win over the Jayhawks over at LubbockOnline.com and RedRaiders.com. For now, though, we're going to get out of the rain and bid you farewell. This is the AJ Media Post Game Show. I'm Zach Long, and you're on RedRaiders.com.